Let us look at the detailed map of the universe. It contains over 100,000 galaxies and spans more than 500 million light years. The Milky Way galaxy is part of a supercluster, 100 times bigger than previously thought. Galaxies tend to huddle in groups called clusters. Regions of densely packed clusters are known as superclusters. Astronomers have mapped the innermost region using a new way to define the boundaries of each supercluster. They named it Laniakia for immeasurable heaven. The Milky Way is located in the furthest reaches of this structure. The team gathered data on more than 8,000 neighboring galaxies. They mapped their positions and movement in space. This method is superior to just mapping the location of matter. It relies on detecting the galaxy's influence instead of seeing them directly. It also enables us to build a map of uncharted regions of the universe. Scientists previously placed the Milky Way in the Virgo supercluster. But under the new method, this region becomes just an appendage of the much larger Laniakia, which is 520 million light years across and contains the mass of 100 million billion suns. Although the map is comprehensive over the universe around the Milky Way, its distance measurements become less accurate the farther out you go. But adding more galaxy measurements will improve the map and could eventually help scientists to fully uncover what is behind the motion of our local group of galaxies. The entire universe can be seen as a cosmic wave of galaxies. Some areas are almost empty, dark voids. The Milky Way is only one of countless such galaxies. It is a spiral galaxy about 100,000 light years across. It has a central bolt surrounded by four large spiral arms. Spiral galaxies make up about two-thirds of the galaxies in the universe. The Milky Way is constantly rotating. The solar system travels at 828,000 km per hour. It would take the solar system about 230 million years to travel all the way around the Milky Way.